our truth, our truth and judgment day. It continues y'all. And I am here for it. I love it so much. And I am just like, I, I, I am so okay. Well, first of all, let's just get into this. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm just Cole saving. you go sets it up them. that. Okay. Cole sets it up to say that our truth has like the origin story basically of like how he became a member of the judgment day. And, uh, he wanted to show it to everybody to explain how he was a member because people don't understand how he just decided he was a member. So, they uh, go to a video where Truth says that uh, the, the moment he came out of his mama, the day he was born, that he looked at the doctor and he told him that one day he was going to be a member of the Judgment Day. And he said that uh, he became a member as a baby and he showed vid a picture evidence of all of them as little teeny babies. And uh, oh, no, yes. Um, and was talking about how they've done everything together. They've been through a lot. They've traveled the world together. They've been through hardships. They've had ups and downs. They fought, but they all love each other at the end of the day. He talks about how he's got mad love for Tom and Nick Mysterio. And he says that he never met Tom or Nick. But um, he gave them a shout out. Um, and he also made sure that uh, he said if anyone ever has a problem... You can come and talk to Judgment Day. We're all open books. We are here for you because we live by the mantra of live, laugh, and love. Um, and then Judgment Day are shown in their clubhouse watching it on a smoky TV. And I, I don't understand how Damien is the only one cra who's cracking. Like, how are the others standing there stone-faced? How are you not laughing or even smiling? I, I don't know. I, I'm not getting you. As soon as he said, I said to my mom, I want to be part of the Judgment Day. No, he said I, the doctor. The doctor. I mean, I actually, LOL, like out loud, like, ha! like, I, and then the entire time, my jaw is on the floor. Every little detail to that vignette was so perfect mm -hmm. in, in so many ways. And I, I'm not kidding you. That might be up there for top raw segment thing <laughs> ever. Yeah. They, I mean, them with the championship and him with the 24 seven title. Yeah. And oh then my the God. Ice I know. Like he then has himself like in all of these video clips and pictures, <laughs> like he's Photoshopped in as if he was there the entire time. The ladder. And the yeah. ladder, it was just, it was who the wooden. <laughs> yeah yeah I'm sorry but that man is hands down the greatest sports entertainer in on god's green earth it's I i'm just... so glad that they took this idea and ran with it and that it wasn't just like the way to get oh, him yeah. back on tv you know like with the um the chips Thing, the that moment at the yeah. show at the review. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm glad that they kept going with it because it's not old yet. You know, like it's not at that point where it's like, okay, this has gone too long. It's not funny anymore. It's like it gets funnier every single week. And the fact that they're also taking advantage of the reaction from the fans and going about it even when they're not on TV, like they did a, a live show and uh, our truth in the background and truth is like, how did he get here? <laughs> or um, today Rhea posted a picture. Of oh my God. Her, that was so funny. Her JD and uh, Damien eating at like the airport and our truth, like in the background. <laughs> so it's like, they're really going with it. And I think that's hilarious. I love that. Oh, I just, I love our truth so much and the fact that he is this over with the fans just show like it's incredible like that you would think the stupid guy or stupid whatever not stupid person you know what i mean uh like stupid act that would be something you think oh yeah they're gonna get rid of that stuff when vince is gone no they're gonna upgrade it they're gonna actually use it to the full potential and use it how it should be done and yeah. not some gimmicky thing from the 90s. Yeah. Well, and in like also a uh, non-offensive way, you know, because I think like 
some could say like, okay, Santino was great, but then when they brought in Santina and stuff like that, it's like that's kind oh, of offensive. Yeah. yeah, that was that <laughs> you know? was bad timing. But yeah, this is, so I, it's so well done. Yeah. Yeah, this is just pure comedy. And I feel like this was such a highlight of the show because I don't think Raw was like overly fantastic this week. I agreed with Humble Wrestling who said that like he was feeling the three hours of Raw and I didn't even watch all three hours because I forgot that it was that about it being on. But like I was feeling it too. I was like, okay, some of this is good, but like, eh, you know, but this was definitely. Yeah, Yeah, I think that this was a highlight. And so I'm excited to see what else they do. And it's funny because it's not even like. It's not even a feud or anything. It's just like a funny little moment that it's like, okay, yeah, I want to see what else there is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 